Okay, cool. Hello, hello, and welcome to the second quarter final of this uh, All Star edition of Quizzing. We already have two semi finalists from the first quarter final. I won't tell you who they are in case you still haven't watched the first quarter final. I'm going to start the second quarter final now, inviting four of your favorite contestants. Uh, the first contestant is uh, lovingly called the South Africa of Quizzing, has reached more finals than anyone and has lost more finals than anyone. <laughs> Let's see what happens in this edition. Give it up for Devaya Bopanna. What's up? I'll give you a slight correction. Not lost more finals, lost all finals actually. <laughs> Ah. Welcome, welcome, Dave. All star edition. Excited? Super excited. Like, I didn't know I qualified to be an all star, so honored yeah. for that only. You but are. now you let's are. see. You are. You are. We did a proper survey, reached out to our audience, and they picked 16 people. It's a very democratic process, Dave. <laughs> okay, cool. On that note, uh, someone who has won a um, Bistec edition earlier has also won a general edition. Uh, the last one you saw. Uh, before this edition came out, give it up for the one and only Kanan Gil. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Ciao, ragazzi, prego. Sorry, guys, I don't have anything weird planned, but it's a pleasure to be part of this uh, All Star edition. Oh my God. Uh, All Star is also my favorite Smash Mouth song. Hey, anyway, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> this is just Kanan's frame is more high budget than the whole quiz put together. Yeah, man. I don't know what you mean. It's not like I flew to a different country just to make this joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. I'm keeping it simple this time, Kevin. Keeping it simple. Sure, Kanan. Sure. We'll see. Please, please. Don't, don't let me hold you back. On that note, we go to someone who's been in the uh, movie edition final earlier, one of people's favorite contestants, been to many semi finals and final. Give it up for Smritika Panigri. Hi. Hello, hello. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, man. How how is anyone ever going to top this Kanan? Like this is this is too much. What do you mean? <laughs> is there something weird? Yeah, I was hoping for like you know like two apsaras on on either side. Guys, please. I I don't have any pencils with me. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, on that note, everyone's favorite has been on uh, a, has been a finalist before, and several semi-finals, and also one of people's favorite. Give it up for Tanmay Bhatt. Yo, listen, are we allowed to just do the quiz any anyhow now? Because Karan's in a bathtub. Can I just do it lying down <laughs> in my bed? Can I do the quiz like this? Is this I allowed? mean, it's, it seems a little desperate, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, okay. Mm. Let's begin. Let's have fun. Dave, Kanan, Sophie, and me. See, you, see. <laughs> okay, let's begin. This is for Dave. Dave, throughout Avengers: Age of Ultron, the main antagonist, Ultron, is shown with parallels to another famous fictional character, X. In the movie, Ultron repeats the famous lines of X, which is originally a song in the 1940 movie X. And the line is, I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. By repeating those lines, Ultron conveys that he's not being controlled by anyone anymore and is finally free. Tell me the fictional character we are talking about. It's also the name of a 1940 movie. And I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. Oh, like a flying unicorn. Would not flying unicorn passing to Kanan? Strings, their best song is Dubai Dubai, I feel. <laughs> but this one I'm not aware of. <laughs> That's in uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Which one is string? <laughs> dur, dur, dur. Dur. Yes, That's of course. <laughs> That's what I meant. Dur, Dhani. All right. huh. Dhani, Dhani, sorry. But Dur is slightly better than Dhani. Hmm. Uh, I have a guess, but it might seem very stupid. It's Pinocchio. It is Pinocchio. Yes, mm. first 11 points on board. Why didn't you say it in, in the Italian accent? Like it's Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Yes. <laughs> Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Puppet, 1940, Disney, Pinocchio. 11 Crazy. points there to Kanan. Pinocchio oh, and Ultron. Mm. Okay, going to Spritika now. Sophie, this is your direct. A certain word, the word X is based on a character in a famous novel. The character was created to describe someone who is foolishly impractical, especially in the pursuit of ideals. 
especially marked by rash, lofty, romantic ideas or extravagantly chivalrous action. The novel, so the character comes from a novel, the novel is regarded as one of the best literary works of all time and was first published in 1615. The story is of a man who takes the name, dash, 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 long name, and sets off in a fit of obsession over romantic novels about chivalry to revive the custom and become a hero himself. What word or name are we talking about? You can either give me the character name or the word. Okay. And it's not Avara Pagal Diwana for sure. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. It's not a term. It's either a word or a, it's a character name. Uh-huh. The term comes from the character name. Uh, I'm sure this is a very obvious answer, but I do not know this. I don't know. I'm just going to say Prince Charming. Not Prince Charming. Going to Tanmay. Extravagantly chivalrous action. Pass. Okay, passing to Dev. This she was regal. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. Pass. Passing to Kanan. Is it uh, Don Quixote and Chaotic? Yes. Or exotic. Oh, it. Yeah. Yes, it is yeah. Don Quixote, Spanish novel. Uh, Don Quixote. Don Quixote is uh, You know, Spain being a emperor. So, yeah. Don Quixote. Don Quixote de la Mancha. Don Quixote. Okay. So, Kanan gets 13 points on this, which means the next direct will again come to Sophie. Sophie, this is a book by Doug Fine, published by Gotham Books in 2012, describing a particular industry from Northern California. This particular book covers everything from a brief history of the product to an insider's perspective on Mendocino County, where this particular industry drives 80% of the almost $6 billion annual revenue. Okay, Too high to fail. Just give me the industry we are talking about. I'll take a guess. I'm not sure. Is it weed? Yes, I'll give it to you. It's the oh. cannabis industry. Okay, Too high to fail. In the new green economic revolution Cannabis industry, California. 10 points there to Sophie, which means the next direct will be to Tanmay. Tanmay, this is a brand question. This is one word answer. According to Wikipedia, there were a few reasons why the company chose the name Dash for its product. First, they wanted a name that was memorable, short, and easy to spell. They also wanted a name that would stand out from the competition and that could potentially become a verb. That's the second clue. The third clue plus the word would remind people of the sound made during the moment of discovery and decision making. What product slash brand are we talking about? Memorable, short, easy to spell, stand out from the competition, potentially become a verb and sound that associate sound made during the moment of discovery and decision making. Is it Bing? Bing, yes. Oh, Ten points nice. there to Tanma. It is Bing. Okay. Bing. Microsoft chose Bing for its search engine. And now everything fits. Potentially become a verb, just like Google. And Bing is this moment of discovery and decision making. Perfect. Tanma gets 10 for Bing, which means I come to Dave now. Dave, slightly long question, but uh, quite workable. It started quietly and privately. And compared with the fame it would attract over the next 50 years, understatedly. In an unassuming Adelaide home in the mid-1971, a piece of Australian history was being assiduously created. But as Sandy Hansen sat at the sewing machine of her Hyde Park townhouse over several of those winter nights, she had no idea this thing she was stitching as a favor for a friend would become one of the nation's most recognized symbols. On 12th July 1971, Armed with Sandy Hansen's finished work, it was carried down King William Street through the city centre, where at a rally near the fountains of Victoria Square, this recognised symbol was first used publicly. What are we talking about? Essentially, something that's been around for more than 50 years. Uh, Who's in this? Dave, Dave. Created by Sandy Hansen. Stitching. One of this nation's most recognized symbols. 
and carried around, etc., etc. Let's go through the hints. I, I know this one. They've passed it. I know it. Please, I just want twenty. Then I'll go. Wait, Dude, is it? Um, like this is this is a kangaroo, the kangaroo symbol. No, not the kangaroo symbol. Going to Kanan. What are the nation's most recognized symbols? For Australia, and like do like I okay. This is I said I'm asking for a, too much of a hint. Okay, like I my my hint was would I recognize that? <laughs> <laughs> Based on your knowledge of me, <laughs> do you think I would see it and be like, of course? You know, this is Rahul in every quiz. You know, Rahul, I always ask you to ask me. Do you think I have an idea? So I will think. It was carried down the street through the city center at a rally. Is it uh, some sort of like flag or something? Go on, go on. I like where you're going with this. Yes, I would say. Oh, now, now I don't, I don't ask me for any details. <laughs> is it? Is it? Um, oh, it's a flag. Okay, that much I'll say for sure. It's a flag, okay. and then I'll say it's. The, is it the modern Australian flag? Uh no. Going to Sukti. Why? Why? Oh, uh, flag. Okay. Hmm. Should I be nice and just pass it on to them? <laughs> ah, now I don't know. Now, no. After he said oh, flag, I'm wrong. Okay, okay. Now Let I don't me. know. <laughs> um. I think now I know. Fuck. I'll pass over, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, five point question. Wait, Smithika still hasn't passed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one second. So this is 1971. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, um, is it a flag with a kangaroo on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> going, going to Tanme. It's not the baggy green, is it? No, I, I had a hunch you were thinking. I baggy. had, a, I had a feeling it was baggy green, but the rally thing threw me off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, What is the baggy green? It's the Australian cap. It's your cap. It's a cricket, oh, cricket yeah. cap. This is what I feared. That's why I asked. What I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll take another round, starting with Dave. Uh, so, flag funda is absolutely correct. We'll give part points to Kanan, in fact, for flag. So now, just tell me what Australian flag do you think has gained importance over the years? <clears throat> And it's not the national flag. It's not the Australian national flag, but it is a certain flag that is very symbolic and very important to Australian culture. Should I add more hints? You can if you want to. So essentially, like think of people and think like what flag would have gained importance over the years, not just in Australia but many places in the world, mm-hmm. but Australia particularly. Cool. Okay. Is it the pride flag? Not the pride flag. Going oh, to. I really thought to, that was the answer. Same. Going to Kanan. Is it a red flag? No, that's not. <laughs> that's not a real answer. <laughs> Um, is is no nothing pass. Okay, passing to Spritika. Is it a pre-colonization flag, like flag of the native people? You're almost there with your last okay. word. So I'll give you a chance uh-huh. just to give the. Oh, okay. One more shot. Uh, it's the flag of the Aboriginals. Yes, of that's flag. all I was looking oh. for. The Australian Aboriginal flag. I oh, thought that it didn't say it. That's I've never seen this flag, man. Like yeah, what? even I've never <laughs> seen this. <flag. laughs> I really thought it was the pride flag. It's the Australian Aboriginal flag. Uh, okay, so of course, seven to seven to Smritika for uh, second round. But I want to give something to Kanan. I'll give three to Kanan for the flag funda. If that's okay. ठीक है चलेगा. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now we go to uh, Tanmay with a food question. Tanmay, a uh, X is a type of Chinese dumpling commonly found across regional styles of Chinese cuisine. Yang Jiang from the Western Han Dynasty mentioned Ding Wei Zi Tun, which means X are a type of bread. 
The difference is that eggs have fillings inside and are eaten after being steamed or boiled. The ancient Chinese thought they were a sealed bun, lacking ki kiao, means which uh, literally means seven orifices. So it was called han dun, which means turbidity or chaos. From the time of the Tang dynasty, people began to differentiate the names of dumplings and eggs. What food item are we talking about? This is a bow. Not a bow going to Dev. <gasps> oh, I know. Oh, okay, that was my... <laughs> yeah. Um, is it... Is it Momo? Not Momo going to Kanan. Wontons? Wontons, yes, that is yeah. correct. Mm. Oh. Gets it. Wontons are, of course, a type of Chinese dumpling. Uh, wontons. Mm. 12 to Kanan, which means I come back. So, this is Rose Khata Tayar. How can you not know? <laughs> so sad. <laughs> wontons. Coming to Sophie now. Sophie, while this dessert, we're still around food, while this dessert was originally associated with Southern United States cuisine, the dish is enjoyed throughout the USA and beyond. It contains a gooey chocolate sauce, brownie and chocolate custard on top of a cum crumbly chocolate crust. The name is derived from the fact that it resembles the banks of a particular river. Okay. What dessert that also has a flavor of ice cream named after? Mississippi mud pie. Yes, it is Mississippi mud pie. 10 points there to Sophie. It is Mississippi mud pie. Okay. Now we come to Kanan. Kanan, I'm talking about a city and some place in the city. The city landmark and the city. X, which is the landmark. X is the second longest dash in the world and got its name by Sir Mount Stuart Elphinstone Grand Duff, who was the governor of Y in the year 1881. So Y is the city. X is something inside the city. Before this, it was just a big strip of sand. When he visited X, he fell in love with what he saw and ordered that a promenade be immediately constructed. Since then, many significant buildings, statues and other attractions have been added to the promenade. Recent hint, recently the government of the state, so the state in which X lies, proposed a statue of a pen-shaped monument within X to mark the literary contributions of the state's ex-chief minister. Identify X and Y. Okay, so Y is the city. X mm -hmm. is something in the city which is the second longest dash in the world. Whatever it is, it's the second longest dash in the world. There are different rankings also, but surely top 5, top 10 in the world. Okay, And before, before this person went there and fell in love and ordered promenade etc it was just a big strip of sand hmm. second clue is uh, of course close to x there are significant buildings statues etc etc and recently uh, they have the state has proposed the statue of a pen shaped monument to mark nxcm's literary contribution it's not carter road also is it <laughs> no. no i guess it was going to be carter road okay moving on Oh, okay. So Tanmay says Carter or not Carter or going to Devaya? See, the, the literary contribution, the only writer, chief minister is Karnanidhi. So is it Tab Chennai? Mm. Uh, the, 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 the city is Chennai. Okay. And X is, what is the, like, what is the second long? Is Marina Beach. Yes. Yeah. That is Marina correct. Beach, yes, perfect. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is Marina Beach. Okay. Second longest beach in the world. The beach is still a big strip of sand. What? It's I mean, a beach. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clue. Big strip of land. Achha. And uh, uh, Karunanidhi, as Devaya rightly said, Marina Beach and Chennai. Mm. Okay. So 11 to Dev and that brings us to the end of the first half. Quite, quite fast. Good, good stuff. We'll take a quick look at the score. Dev just got 11. Uh, for Marina Beach and uh, Chennai. Kanan has 11 for Pinocchio, 13 for Chaotic, Don Quixote, 3 for the Flag Funda and 12 for Wontons. Uh, Kanan is on 39 points right now leading the quiz. Followed by Spritika, 10 for Cannabis Industry, 7 for Australian Aboriginal Flag, 
and 10 for Mississippi mud pie. Sophie is on 27 and Tanmay has 10 for Bing. Okay. So 39, 27, 11, 10. Let's start the second half. The order now will be Tanmay, Sophie, Kanandev. So Tanmay, this is your direct. Talking about a certain tree slash plant slash seed. This tree native to the Amazon rain, rainforest was first domesticated 5,300 years ago. It was consumed by pre-Hispanic cultures in spiritual ceremonies and its seeds were a common currency in Mesoamerica. The tree grows in a limited geographical zone and today West Africa produces nearly 70% of the world's crop, this crop. Sorry, did Sophie just leave? Yes, I'm back. Okay. okay. The three main varieties of the plant are Forastero, Criollo and Trinitario. Then you also have an image and Aztec sculpture with the fruit of the tree. Just tell me the tree, plant, crop or what are we talking about? Is it a jackfruit tree? I can't tell. I don't know. Fast. Okay. Okay. Not, not jackfruit. Going to Sprithika? Is it a cocoa tree? Like what you make chocolate from? Yes, yes. That's all I was looking for. Cocoa, uh, okay. cacao, cacao, chocolate, anything. Cacao. cacao. Okay. Because West Africa, that's where most, most of this is done in modern world. Cocoa, cacao, chocolate. Mm. Sophie gets 11 for this and I go to Kanan. Kanan, this is a book called The Intimate City Walking Dash. There are basically two hints. One is, of course, the book cover that shows this city back in the day. And now to the text clue, this book explores a city which was once named after a capital city in Europe. So the city that we are talking about was once named after a capital, a European capital city. Just tell me very direct question, which city is this book about? <laughs> so two clues, one is the book cover and the second is that this city was once named after a capital city in Europe. Capital city in Europe was once named after. It's currently yeah. not named after. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying I'm desperately looking in this picture for clues. Uh, Can you tell me if this picture is current? Uh, no. It's not current? Not current. Oh, you can't tell me? Oh, not necessarily current. Little, little old only. Is it New York? It is New York. Yes. Ah, thank it's God. It was called New Amsterdam. It was called New Amsterdam. Yes, mm. that is correct. Mm. Karan gets 10 okay. for this. It is New York. Yeah. The intimate city walking New York, once known as New Amsterdam. Mm. Okay, 10 for Kanan, which means next direct will be to Dave. Why is this wet? <laughs> Why is the bathroom wet? <laughs> I've not used it. <laughs> uh, Dave, uh, he made his debut in the case of the incomplete letter, where he was initially referred to as Dr. Verma, but later changed his surname in the case of the burnt letter, part one. Cases like the case of the clinching evidence and the case of the multiple puzzles made him a household name. But sometime in the 2000s, some of his fans believe he went crazy, most likely because of his stupid wig. He started behaving very weirdly at times, read most of the times with his superiors. Who is this benevolent individual? Okay, so just to clarify to all four of you, obviously we're talking about a fictional character. So just tell me what character are we talking about? And Dr. Verma is a hint, so it's an Indian fictional Earlier known as Dr. Verma, then changed it to something else. And then bunch so of... This people. is uh, Shaktiman. Not Shaktiman. Going to Tanmay. This is Bakshi. Bhumkesh Bakshi. Oh, not Bhumkesh Bakshi. Going to Smritika. Oh. <laughs> something uh... silly, isn't it? Little bit. I knew it was something. Wording only is so like, like fans yeah. not even crazy. <laughs> oh, I know this. I know this. Man. 
I don't know this. I'm going to just guess. Is it Doga? Not Doga. Going to Kanan. Is it ACP Pradyuman from CID? No, but very close. But <laughs> okay. Uh, hint time. We'll start with Dev. So this character comes in uh, one of the longest running TV shows. Uh, of oh, Indian history, oh, 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 it, like yeah. it ran for twenty years, and this character is a forensic expert in that TV show. Okay, if that helps. Oh, so longest running TV shows. Huh. I'll make it clearer. Okay, it is from CID. It's a character from yeah. CID, but it's not ACP Pradyuman. I don't know any other characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Besides Daya, and it's it's not Daya because Daya is not a forensic expert. <laughs> the only other person I know is Daya. Yeah. Pass Daya. Okay, pass. Not there. Passing to Tanmay. Salunke. It is Salunke. It's it's Doctor Salunke. <laughs> I can't believe this is so stupid. <laughs> Doctor Salunke. Uh, from CID, <laughs> you're known as Doctor Verma. Earlier, changed it to Doctor Salunke, and but sometimes in the year 2000, some of his fans believe that he went crazy, <laughs> most likely <laughs> because of his stupid wig. Also, started behaving very weirdly at times. Read most of the time <laughs> with his superiors. Okay, this Doctor Salunke. So five six. Uh, sorry, this was Dave's direct. So six to Tanmay. But I want to give some part points to Tan. Uh, sorry, Kanan, because he said CID in the very first. Round. There, yeah, it's going. Yeah, friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you three, three out of the possible ten, then, because you said uh, CID. Okay, Kanan. Uh, Tanmay gets bulk of the points with six. Kanan gets part point, which means the next direct will be to Sophie. Sophie, this practice can be compared to an older phenomenon from the nineteen seventies. Called the Mean World Syndrome. Psychiatrists note that humans are all hardwired to see the negative and be drawn to the negative because it can harm them physically. They cite evolution as the reason for why humans seek out such negatives. By frequently monitoring monitoring events surrounding negative headlines, staying informed may grant the feeling of being better prepared. Which compulsive habit are we talking about? What's the term that is used to refer to this habit? Oh, uh, um, is it a doomsday? Something like being prepared for doomsday? I'll give you a chance to improve. You are uh, on the right track, so I don't want to pass. I'll give you one know. one more chance to improve. You're very close. Uh, doomsday what? Uh, God. What is it? What is it? Oh God. Okay. Um, is it just doomsday? Okay, not doomsday. We'll we'll see. We'll come back to you. Maybe going to Kanan. The doom scrolling. It is doom scrolling. That's the word we were looking for. We are looking at doom scrolling. Okay, we are looking at doom scrolling. So Karan got the exact answer, but Sophie was somewhere there. She said doom, doomsday. So I want to give some points to Sophie as well. Now this was an eleven-point question when it came to Karan. So if you guys think it's okay, can we do it seven, four, eight, three? What what works better? Whatever, you and God. I mean, <laughs> okay, I'm going to. Karan needs the points right now. So it can yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but still. Uh, okay, I'll do eight, three. Uh, because Kanan got doom scrolling, which was what we needed, but Sophie was almost there. She said doomsday, but not doom scrolling. Which means the next direct will come to Dave. Dave, even though Cristiano Ronaldo is the most followed person on Instagram, X is the most followed account on Instagram across all categories. Okay, this brand page, so it's a brand page. It's very active and posts daily about its new features, interviews with creators. And influencers and content by other creators. Very direct question: Which brand account are we talking about? So individuals may Cristiano Ronaldo is the most followed, but overall, including all categories, this is the most followed account on Instagram. Is it uh, the TikTok account? TikTok not brand. the not the TikTok account. Going to Tanmay. Kiri, you have this annoying habit 
of you doing this when the answer is wrong. So for a second, <laughs> things, like you know, it's ten points in the back. Sorry, and, sir. I I yeah. realize I do that because I see niche to see whose turn it is. Next. Oh, okay, okay. Is it Instagram? It is Instagram. Yes, Tanmay oh, had to get it. Please, I was like, <laughs> if Tanmay, I, I thought it's too obvious. I thought that is too obvious. I thought TikTok being big on Instagram. <laughs> it is the Instagram account on Instagram, which is the most followed account on Instagram. Okay, eleven to Tanmay. Which means I now go to Sophie. Sophie, I'm talking about a term now. This term was originally used by the French military to refer to a small group that scouted ahead of the main force. It also became associated with left-wing French radicals in the 19th century, who were agitating for political reform. At some point in that century, the term was linked to art, through the idea that art is an instrument for social change. Soon, it became applicable to all art that pushes boundaries of ideas and creativity. What term are we talking about? Okay, so essentially, the meaning now is any art that pushes boundaries of ideas and creativity. And the etymology is in the story that it was a group that was that used to go ahead of the main force. So they were always ahead of the main conventional. <laughs> Yes, is it reconnaissance? Not reconnaissance. Going to Kanan. The avant garde. It is. It is avant garde. It is. Oh. It is on guard. It is. Wow, great picture. Avant <laughs> garde. <laughs> it is avant garde because yeah, they are they push the boundary in fashion and art and everything. Okay, eleven for Kanan for this. And I go to Dave for a brand question. It, this brand was founded by Mr. Arthur, who was born at 6 George Street, Ashen Under Line in Lancashire, England in 1845. In 1869, he opened his first tea shop at 23 Market Street, Manchester. Arthur chose the business name because it was his relationship to his customers to provide quality teas. Just tell me, what is the name of the brand thus initiated? What brand did he start? Friends. No, not friends. Going to Tanmay. Is the name for chain, is it? Or just the brand? Just a brand. Is it society? Not society. Going to Smritika. But good. Oh, that was my answer. Um, uh, okay, I'm, I'm just going to say twinings. Although not twinings. Going not to Canon. <laughs> Wait, is it the name of his business or the name of this brand? Oh. I started calling it his business something and that is the name of the brand. His business name is the name of the brand. Oh, 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 no, I just got it. As in, his business is the one that's mentioned in the question. Mm -hmm. So, a brand in that business, like Sophie and Tanmay. Oh, okay. Arthur chose a business name. It's basically one only. There's not two. Huh. Um, I'm glad you mentioned where he was born because that was going to be my next question. <laughs> because like, is it number six or number seven, George Street? George and then it really makes all the difference in this. Uh... I'll take a flight to know. Italy and come hit you. <laughs> Please ask. I, don't, I, I really don't know, dude. I just want to frustrate you guys because I don't know. I don't want to take up time hoping for lightning to strike. This is relationship to his customer to provide quality. It was his relationship. Hmm. I like how the way I get friends. That was a good guess. <laughs> relationship. Hmm. Friend only. There has other options for Chacha Ji, Tau Ji. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and it's the name of a brand, which is a business. So it's not what I'm thinking. So I'm going to say, I don't know, Tetley. Mm. Okay, no. We'll give a clue. Mm. Start again with Dave. So it's a two-word answer. Okay. And the first, and word, is, first word is Arthur, Arthur's surname. And the second word is a synonym for relationship. Like a word very similar to relationship. 
Oh, then I don't know. I don't know why I just snapped like this. It's a two. So the brand, the area of business is obvious to everyone. Now we are mm-hmm. talking about a brand name which has two words. Is it mustache? Is his area of business mustaches? <laughs> Good morning. The sir. first like word of the business name. is his last name. Uh, so if his Arthur Dash, his full name, that word is the first name. Like it's a two word answer. First word is his surname. The mm. second word is where the relationship part comes. That's mm. why he named the company or his brand this. Devi's surname was Taj. <laughs> Arthur Taj. <laughs> Like, what is it like? Uh, fuck. Interesting. Colonial cousins. Uh, Pass to. Okay, they've passed. We go to Tanmay. Is it Lipton? <laughs> Not Lipton. Next is Pandan Devan. Going to Sophie. Customer is God Devan. Just guessing. Is it Builder's Tea? <laughs> no, I'm going to. Oh. What is Builder's Tea? It's a oh. kind of. I don't, it's just really strong tea in UK. But. Acha. Har quiz me ek haram jada sawal aata hai, bhai. Yeah. Which feels like you should know this easy. Yeah. Easy. yeah. Don't get it. It's apparent. It's the tea that truck drivers drink to keep themselves awake at night. Big list. Okay. So what do builders drink then? Truck drivers. <laughs> truck drivers. <tea. laughs> okay. Is, is it Raju Chacha? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll, I don't know. Pass. Okay. Pass, yes, pass, pass. I I think you guys have overthought this, but let's see. Okay, his name was Arthur Brook and relationship is born. Brook. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. It's so irritating. Oh. I think bond. we have guessed every other tea <laughs> ever made by yeah. humans. Yeah. I was like, is Bag Bakri some English name? <laughs> Arthur. Customer Arthur Bag. Arthur Bag. <laughs> Customer is a Bakri. That's the relationship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this was Brooke Bond. And even in the logo that Arthur guy is there on the top next time. Okay. Oh. This was unanswered. The, this was Dave's direct. So we'll come to Dave again for the last question of this quarter final. Dave, in the 1970s, Narsina Chitale tasted this popular Gujarati snack. The only difference was that it was the Nagpuri variant of the snack. This Nagpuri variant was an extremely spicy roll, where the Gujarati staple snack is milder. The amalgamation of the spicy Nagpuri variant and the shape of Gujarati variant is the iconic Chitale X. The recipe was perfected by Narsina's elder sister-in-law and went on sale in 1976. Just tell me which popular snack are we talking about? Kakra. Not Kakra. Oh, sure. Going to Tanmay. Is it Bhakarwadi? It is Bhakarwadi. Yes. We are talking about Bhakarwadi. It is Bhakarwadi. 11 to Tanmay. And yeah, that brings us to the end of this quarterfinal. Good on time. Okay. We'll just take a quick look at... Oh my God. It's, oh, Do not is, tell me there's a tie. Please. Oh, it, it went much closer than we expected. Like then I thought earlier because I think Tanmay got Instagram and Bakarwadi towards the end. But we'll have a look at the score. Uh, Dave had 11 in the first half and Dave ends on 11. Well played, Dave. Well played, well played. Okay. Kanan had 39 in the first half. In the second half, he got New York. Then he got 3 for CID. Then 8 for Doom Scrolling. Uh, and then 11 for Avangard, Avangard. Uh, which means uh, Kanan ends on 71 points. Kanan wins uh, this quarter final. And Kanan what is the new much. scoring system? 10, 11, 6 and all. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's After great. I tie the last time. <laughs> who's, who's quiz did it? Is it anyway? Okay, yeah. 
Okay. Pritika had 27 in the first half. In the second half, she got 11 for Cocoa, Cacao. And then 3 for... Um, 3 for... Boom. 3 for Doomsday in Doom Scrolling. So, Spritika ends on 41 point. Okay, 41. Uh, Tanmay had 10 in the first half. In the second half, Tanmay got 6 for Salunke. And then 11 for Instagram. And then 11 for Bhakarwadi. And Tanmay ends just 3 points behind Spritika. Now that Doomsday. <laughs> Doomsday help you avoid Thai actually. But Tanmay ends <laughs> just 3 points behind Spritika. So Spritika becomes the first runner that qualifies for semi-final. But Tanmay, what a great game. This, uh, oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. And you know, I almost got book bought also. Lipton bachata, wag bakri bachata, or book bought. Yeah. yeah. Book bought bolte to fir ha, ho jata. Book bought. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to thank all of you before you. Oh, fun party, then quickly, quickly, then just a couple of minutes. Mm. Devaya has three there. Kanan has seven. Pritika has one. And Tanmay has six. So Kanan wins by a thin margin again. One party seven. Tanmay actually woke up only during the last four questions. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think Kanan got six points for the bathtub. I, I should. <laughs> I've been sitting in fucking water for the last half an hour, dude. <laughs> Somehow it started leaking and I'm right now my whole pants are wet. <laughs> okay, but thank you so much, Dave. And thank you so much, Tanmay, for being a part of this. It means a lot to us. And we'll thank you, KB. And Kanan. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Pleasure, pleasure. See you guys.